Welcome back. When it comes to auto repair, simple maintenance can go a long way in determining how long your vehicle will last. That's exactly what Hudson's Import Service strives to do for their customers. Here's a closer look. Yeah, this car should have been at Hudson's long ago. Don't put yourself in the unexpected position of having to replace your car. It's important right now to ensure your car's longevity and preventive maintenance and repair is essential. Let us guide you through the decision process of what to do, when to do it, and how to most cost-effectively invest in your vehicle. Because at Hudson's Import Service, we're not just taking care of cars, we're taking care of customers. Hey, that guy looks familiar, and for more ways to maintain your vehicle, we want to welcome Cliff Hudson. Good to see you, Cliff. I would not believe a word he said. <laughs> That's why we brought you in to clear Pro up all the myths. Propaganda? Great day. <laughs> Cliff, now you brought a letter along with you today, and when is this dated? This, you know, this maintenance thing is not a novel idea. Right. This is a mailer from 1928. The mailer starts out, Dear Sir, we're writing this letter to you today because we want to help you get your money out of your Model T. That's not a new car. <laughs> it, it goes on to describe a dollar tune-up, uh, seven dollar pistons and rings, labor to completely overhaul your engine and transmission, 20 to 25 dollars. Now, sounds like a deal. Right. Until you realize the common laborer back then might have made a dollar a day. Exactly. So engine and transmission overhaul labor was half of a year's salary. Wow. So anyway, still, wow. these people way back then realized the importance of maintenance. What we're seeing today, with the economy having done what it has done, yeah. what we're seeing today is people putting off maintenance, which basically cost them later. Exactly. You really shouldn't because you want to keep your car longer so you don't have car payments. A person drives past a timing belt interval. The next thing you know, the timing belt has broken, and when the, the, the timing belt, which keeps the internal synchronization of the engine in time, when that happens, when time belt breaks, the valves, the valves get bent. Now a guy goes from a timing belt job, which may have been several hundred dollars, some of them even surpass a thousand, mm -hmm. but now he's got a damaged engine. Wow. If it's a 2000 or older model car, the repairs are probably more than the car's worth, and he, he had a running car that a timing belt would have kept on the road. Now he has a piece of trash. Wow. He just takes it to a junkyard and gets rid of it because the engine repair will be four or $5,000. Now, Cliff, we are talking about the timing belt there, but what are some of the most common things that people ignore in their cars that they really shouldn't? Well, we're in a situation today, if you look at this letter, we, but, you know, let's, let's go back to when my father was young. Yeah. Uh, the average life expectancy of an engine was 30,000 miles. Oh, Tune-ups had to be done every five or 6,000. Well, now we have spark plugs that will last 100,000 miles. Exactly. And engines that will last 300 plus thousand miles. If you maintain them properly. Right. The problem is, what's the old adage? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Okay. The problem is that has now been shifted to the maintenance equation. Okay. People say, hey, it runs great. Why should I spend money on it? Yeah. Well, the reason you should spend money on it is because the onboard computer is helping tune the engine as we drive. So unlike in the 60s and 70s when your car would actually start running bad, now it runs great yeah. until the minute it shuts off beside the road. There so, you go. Yeah, the maintenance thing is for longevity. There are services usually that get done every 30 or 40,000 miles, uh, and, 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 and they, they entail several detailed things. It's a lot more uh, than just an average oil change, and you have to actually read the service book because it's now individualized. Right. 20 years ago, every car almost got the exact same thing. Now each, each, each make and model is very individualized, so you've got to read that service book to know exactly what the car Cliff, needs. You, me you mentioned the oil change about every three to 5,000 miles. Now, do you do an all-point inspection on the car when you do that right. in case something else is wrong? Exactly. For two reasons. First of all, we need a baseline. You know, we're in a liable situation yeah. today. If a, guy, if, if a guy's brakes are about to fail, we don't mention it to him, some attorney's going to have us in court exactly. as well. Exactly. So yeah, the car's looked at bumper to bumper while the oil change is going on, because let's face the facts. The technician doesn't need to watch the oil drain. That yep. does. That happens all by itself. <laughs> so yeah, while, gravity takes care of that. So for while us. that's happening, yeah, he's walking the car bumper to bumper, making notes, wow. and also looking at just like a doctor would do, looking at the chart, you know, for when the car was there last, yeah. and seeing if anything's changed or worsened. You know, you mentioned it was neat that we started out with the healthy thing. Yep. Because a friend of mine who's a car dealer, when he's selling someone a car that he knew had a pristine maintenance record, yeah. he would always say, this is a healthy car. Oh, okay. That's the so, analogy he used. So you're the MD. Motor doctor. There you go. <laughs> Cliff's your motor doctor. And Cliff, where are you located so folks can come in and get their car taken care of? Diagonally right across the street, 1072 Johnny Dodds Boulevard, right beside the post office. And there you good go. Good old Mount Pilot. 884-2573. <laughs> Cliff, yep. always a pleasure. Good to see you, my friend. Good seeing you again. Hmm. I think my car needs a tune-up.
All right. Well, Cliff will take care of that for me. Straight ahead on Low Country Live, we're taking, we're talking with motivational speaker Andy Thomas about some tips you should keep in mind when going to your next job interview.